Make sure you like this video as you are coming in. Make sure you like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new. And honey, we are back in the building. Listen, child, a boy, A.L., and the aunties, honey, was dragging Latifa. They was dragging Carlos. Oh, Marceau has responded. Um... To what Tisha said on Carlos King uh, podcast. So let's look into that. Let's get right off into that. It's just a mess. Okay. It's a mess. Okay. So Marceau says we didn't know if it was true at the time. Uh, somebody called him out and Letitia out for knowing about the revenge P tape. Um. We didn't know if it was true at that time and we weren't speaking to her. Didn't have her number and really didn't F with either one of them outside of filming enough to get into whatever they had going on. At this time, it was just a stupid plot. Nevertheless, we heard hundreds of rumors about everything, so we don't know or care what's true or false. We don't repeat it and we don't use it against anyone that lady asked us what we should do and we said we don't get involved and nothing like that and went on minding our business later when mail told me it was true after a scene that's when i believe the story was true when i was asked in an interview i told my opinion and lost all respect for him knowing that if it's true it has to be true at that point. There had been so much said about me and T that could, couldn't could be further from the truth. Ooh, Marceau, honey, you need to learn to write these sentences. Listen, I think you starting to take after your mother-in-law, honey. And do y'all see Miss Wild? Is she over there dragging Destiny, honey? You better rack his side. She said that Destiny lit the lit the whole fire, okay? Destiny is the reason that Martell, Hook, Head, and Hope came for Latifa and came for Marceau on the show. So she was like, I ain't got no problems with Destiny, but after Destiny did that, that was was wrong but y'all are okay when you know when it happens to melody got you it's a lot of double standards it's a lot okay and destiny is on the show she's been messy y'all don't like when she messy with y'all stuff because you expect all this loyalty but she didn't even have it to her sister miss melody sheree she she wasn't loyal to her her good friend savannah that that brought her on the show Okay, you thought she was going to be loyal to your daughter. Your daughter is better, better than Melody. Can't be cheated on and can't be betrayed by a friend. I got your number, Miss Wanda. Okay, over there dragging a mess, full of a mess. Okay, so back to Marceau. There had been so much said about me and T that couldn't be further from the truth, so I don't really believe the things I hear until it's corroborated came from the person involved. I call it BS because Marceau, y'all didn't care about who Martel was, what he stood for. You didn't care about, you know, him being a Chucky doll, a narcissistic Chucky doll. Y'all cared nothing about that until that man came for you and your wife. Now he everything under the sun. He ain't no good, but it was my guy. It was my guy. Martel is a good guy when he was over there terrorizing and Melody, now that he done blew up your house because it's already on fire, now you got a problem. You and your wife. Child a mess. But honey, like I said, A.L. and his goons, they was over there dragging Marceau and Tisha. They alleged that Marceau and Tisha invite women into their bedroom. Ooh, child. Oh, they also admitted that Martel is attracted to Tisha and Marceau is attracted to Melody. Okay, remember we have been talking about that. Oh, they also admitted that Tisha said way too much. She talked a little bit too much on that Carlos King interview. Okay. She may be subpoenaed into the courtroom, baby. Oh, they also trashed Melody for interrogating Trisha on the show. 
uh, one of the aunties got to saying, well, why is Trisha even answering Melody's questions? A.L. said, if Melody really doesn't care about Martell, then why would she ask Trisha all of those questions? One of the aunts said that she wouldn't ask anybody anything that happened 10 years ago with a man that she was divorced from. Then they got to making fun of Melody and her God said ghost shirt and how, you know, she should just be so over, you know, Martell. Oh, they also um, threw out um, the accusations of Martell being G-A-Y and Arion admitted it some time ago. I think I remember that. She did say something like that when they were getting into it. Okay, because you know the people that want to <laughs> spill all of Martell's tea, honey, on Mad Day. I guess he had not let her out her cage. So, you know, she had a bone to pick with him. They also alleged that the man that Martell was allegedly involved with was up at the Black. Y'all know Marceau and Tisha's uh, cigar lounge. What y'all think of that? Somebody also said that Tisha is really not good during an interview. Another person calls out Tisha for saying that Martell was G-A-Y um, in the interview, but she didn't say it when she was, you know, in that moment with him. And they felt like Tisha was being manipulative because now she has time to think about a good comeback, a good response. Yeah, she had time to put it together, baby. They got to talking about how Love and Marriage Huntsville is doomed. Carlos, his best years was with Bravo. Carlos doesn't make black women feel protected. And A.L. and his cronies also alleged that Melody was Martell's beard. Because remember, uh, Tisha implied that he was G.A.Y. back in college. So, you know, some of the people felt like, yeah, Tisha really blew up the Holt spot. Well, Melody ain't no Holt no more. But she really blew up everything because Melody got on the show on Love and Marriage Huntsville acting like her and Martell was this power couple. And long behold, there was a side chick, Ariane, involved with her husband. And then he was messing allegedly with men. And then they all laughed and said, he wasn't Melody's man. He was somebody else's man. Well, he still wasn't Ariane's man. <laughs> That's what we do, though, right? <laughs> A mess. Do y'all believe that, you know, Martell go the other way? I don't. I told y'all that, man. He could go with a doorknob. He could go with a light switch. A barbecue grill. A stationary fan, honey. Okay. Another person points out that Ariane made a video in the past where she put it out there that Martell paid for her BBL. Now, I played y'all the audio of her saying that she doesn't have a BBL, but she clearly has had some type of um, procedure done because she's a very slim woman and now she got that that diaper booty, not donkey booty, diaper booty. Y'all remember what Nene said to Kenya? Yeah, you got up, you and your diaper booty. <laughs> Y'all remember how Candy was laughing, honey? That's some throwback real housewives of Atlanta for the girls, honey. So somebody else says Martell was wrong to bring Tisha's past into the argument and Tisha was wrong to out Martell allegedly on that panel. As a woman, Tisha saying she knew about the revenge p-tape but was still being friendly to that man was disgusting the scots plus martell hate melody at this point the show needs to be paused and melody needs to have a meeting with her attorney oh and some people also call out trisha truth be told trisha not ready for a sit down with anyone she can't even get her lies together she should have left well enough alone if nothing transpired between her and martell then she shouldn't feel some type of way martell even said it why she felt the need to say something when nothing happened with them do y'all believe that Trisha gave that cootie cat to Martell? Put it in the comments. So another person makes a uh, post 
that I found and it says, I used to wonder why the men would look male up and down. Imagine being in meetings and people have seen you in a compromising situation with your husband. I asked my husband and he said, some men really do that. I have mixed feelings about the Scott 1.0. I think it's great that they finally told what they know, but just wish it was faster. Tisha and Kimmy are just horrible. Oh, and then the people get to talking about some post that Marceau made. The most effective form of communication is tit-for-tat communication style. People don't fully understand their tit until they receive your tat. Another person drags Marceau and says, this is horrible. Just hope they keep the same energy when one of their daughters meets a Martell. Another person says, well, that's about to, that's about to get the biggest tat ever. Huh? You only make no damn sense. A mess. Another person says, this is who Martell invited into his family's lives. Marceau is an arrogant clown and he's miserable. Mel tried to warn Martell these folks are not his friends. Another person calls out everybody. Like some of y'all are just so unbelievable. You sit up here and judge Martell like you know him in real life. Okay, so what? Tisha said he's gay. Did you think for one minute she wasn't going to come up with something? He called her out. She was embarrassed. She needed to figure out why Marceau won't put his ring on on his finger. Could he be DL? We don't know these people from Adam. I just think it's funny how everyone see wrong in Martell and wears him out as if he mistreated them. Jesus Christ. Like this is only for entertainment. What do y'all think about that? I do um, think it's interesting Marceau don't want to wear a ring, but like I did tell y'all before in the past, the man wouldn't get up to say a few kind words. The man didn't want to renew his vows with her. The man kicked her out of her office and put another man up in her office. Is her office even done yet? Okay, a mess. Went to Africa without the lady, okay, and his kids. What else? I've been telling y'all, but, you know, the people don't listen to me. Another person says this show is really on life support. No one has a storyline. If this was real or remotely close to to being the truth, it would have come out a long time ago. As far as Martell being G-A-Y. Mel would have said it a long time ago, and even her mellow meters would have called it out. No one has discussed it. Huntsville is very small the way that community child a mess y'all and these damn sentences gotta skip over words to go to the next word to get the sentence right okay a mess who wrote this miss wanda tisha waited to say it months after the show ended yeah because they did already shoot the reunion why because they are trying to save the show for another season they do this every year They take one break and put up a big rumor. Then it's out on social media to get people to watch the upcoming season and they never talk about it on the show. The ratings are up and down and they will do or anything. They will do or say anything to save the show. Another person calls out everybody. Please quit singing Martell's praises. Martell represents the bottom of the barrel. Absolutely. Mel must be kicking herself for marrying that idiot and having kids by him. She must have been really young and stupid not to recognize those signs in him. Why you gotta call the lady stupid, okay? Why she gotta be stupid? It ain't like, you know, she knew that he would come with all that hell. It ain't like these niggas be having signs written on their forehead that they ain't about shit. Okay, that they go put you in a burning house. I I think that's a you know, child. We didn't all look. We didn't all been a fool for love. Okay, a mess. He is the worst person on the cast. He has no morals or ethics or values. Sound like something I would say. Ooh, and the word is out on Trisha and Ken. They are immoral too. 
<laughs> a mess. All right, you guys, that's all I have to say about this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys out in the next video.